There's no question, everything has gone up in price, including the cost of cruises. However, have cruise add-ons, extras, package options, and even gratuities, is it all getting out of hand? Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifeballcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now lately with the different price hikes that we're seeing, the different changes that we're seeing, even including some of the package options, well, some people are saying, Booking a cruise is getting confusing. I kind of have to agree with so many different options for add-ons and packages, and even constantly hearing about hikes in prices and cutbacks, it seems a little bit confusing. Now, I do still think that cruises are a really good value, but I do have to wonder about some of these things. We'll also talk about extra charge items, where we are seeing them, and I really do wanna hear from you what you think about these things. And we'll also talk about the value of those all-inclusive perks packages, and if they are still of value if the price has increased. Now, especially since a lot of these changes are really very recent and the feedback has not all been good, I'm gonna share with you my thoughts on this a little bit later on in the video, but I also would like to hear from you. Before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. So firstly, let's talk about crew gratuities. We've had a couple of cruise lines who have increased or announced increases to crew gratuities. Now this is something that usually happens about once a year or so. Sometimes it happens a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more often, but this year we definitely have seen it probably quite a few cruise lines. But in this case, we are now seeing Norwegian Cruise Line that raised their gratuities a few months ago, raising them again, going from $16 to $20 per person per day for the majority of cabins. Some are a little bit more, with Havens going to $25 per person per day. So on average, that is about a 20% increase on crew gratuities. Now we've had other cruise lines raise gratuities as well, including Princess that just made a recent change. Now, of course, the crew work very hard. The cost of living is going up for them too. So it really does make sense, but this really is an extra cost for the cruise passenger to bear, which really did bring up the question in my Facebook community, as you should cruise lines include the cost of gratuities in the price of their cruise. A lot of people said, yes, maybe they should be including that in the price. Now, perhaps this is a discussion for another full video, but a lot of people did think that yes, cruise lines perhaps should include that in the price if it's an expectation for people to pay those gratuities and if the cost of living is going up so much for crew and i really do think it is that perhaps the cruise line should be paying the crew more now please let me know if we should be doing a video all about crew gratuities if you have any questions as well please let me know down in the comments below now crew gratuities is something that we've always had which is kind of part of the tradition in cruising. However, something that we haven't had at least a few years ago were all of the extra charges, all of the extra add-ons. And something that somebody remarked to me the other day is they said the list of things that are not included on a cruise is really growing longer. Now, I still think cruising is really a great value vacation, but I really couldn't disagree with that. Now, keeping in mind that this does vary from cruise line to cruise line, but we're definitely seeing some things and we have been seeing it over the last few years, including charges for room service and more recently charges for room service where there hadn't been. So some cruise lines used to have continental breakfast that was sort of free or included and they are now starting to charge. Now, personally, I'm a big lover of room service, at least on occasion on a cruise. So when a cruise line does include this, for me, there is a big value and I really do consider this a plus and I'm probably more likely to book that cruise line. But I know everybody is different and for some people, there is more value than others. Now, some other extras that we're seeing, at least on some cruise lines, are charges for some of their activities and even some charges for some of the items in the main dining room. Now there really still is so much on the menu, but it has left some cruisers saying that it really is feeling less like an almost all-inclusive experience and more like sort of a little bit too much nickel and dining. Now let's talk about the package options or the all-inclusive perks promotions. Now this has been really popular for years now. A lot of people love being able to have this added value, pay for it before the cruise, and then be able to have some of the perks that they really love on the cruise. However, I do think that over the years, now it's starting to get a little bit more confusing. 
some of the add-ons I think really are very good, but we recently heard some news about Princess Plus, Princess Premier. I'm gonna share that in just a minute. Um, so I'll kind of give you my thoughts on that price hike that we're seeing as well as the options. But first I did wanna talk about the packages in general. Now in terms of the packages, I think that these really are something good. Not everybody drinks alcohol, so not everybody is gonna have the same value out of that beverage package. Um, not everybody uses the Wi-Fi, so having an option to have Wi-Fi included versus not included, that could be something really good for people. However, there is a little bit of a confusing option when we now have tiers of these packages. So we have a basic package, we have a premium package, and sometimes when we have that, especially with different add-ons, it does get a little bit confusing. Now, which leads me to talk about Princess Plus and Princess Premier. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know I really like Princess. I like cruising with Princess. I think they're a great cruise line and in particular, I love Princess Plus and the value of it. Now, I do still think it's a really good value, but there have been some changes and they are getting a little bit of a mixed reaction, but I'm gonna share with you my thoughts. So first of all, Princess Plus has gone from the price of $40 to $50 in the last year or so, and now it's going up to $60 per person per day. But that includes a beverage package, that includes your internet, and that includes your crew gratuities, which by the way, crew gratuities and Wi-Fi have both increased in price on Princess, so it is a better value now, even at $60 a day. Now, in addition to this, they did add on a couple of extra things. And again, I'm gonna share my thoughts about this in a couple of minutes, but the extra things that they did add on is two sort of decadent desserts um, every day and two new fitness classes with a partnership that they have. Well, two special fitness classes are also going to be offered per cruise per person. Now, as well, the Ocean Medallion will be mailed to you to your home if you're living in the United States. Now, for those that don't have Princess Plus, this will no longer be mailed. Now, Princess Premier, which is basically the upgrade on that package it does include some different extras. I'm not gonna go into that in this video, but the price has now increased to $80 and you have a couple of extra perks as well. And one of them is that you're going to have reserved seating in the theater. So I have some thoughts about these different perks package options, but in particular, when it comes to Princess Plus, my thinking is that, that this is really still a good value. I do wonder about the idea of the decadent desserts and the fitness classes. Not that this isn't something that could be good, but I do wonder if this was something that cruisers were really wanting, were really asking for, if this was a solution to anybody's problem, because I don't really know of a lot of people that want to have two additional or different desserts every single day. And the gym classes, I mean, honestly, I've gone to some of the gym classes and they're really never very full. So I just, I do wonder about this a little bit and the demographic of Princess. I could be completely wrong. So please let me know if you absolutely love these things. And by the way, in the future, I'll probably cruise on Princess and I'll probably take this. So I'll try them out and I'll let you know what I think. I might be pleasantly surprised. It might be amazing, but I do still think that at this price, it is a very good value. When I look at the fact of a drink package alone on a lot of other cruise lines, it would be more expensive than this. So I think it's a good value. And I think if we look at the fact that really things have gone up in price so much, I think that having the extra cost and having those little extras was probably a way for Princess to offer that additional value. But my thinking generally about these perks options is make it simple. If I had any message for the cruise lines, at least from me, it's that make it simple because it is getting so confusing. And when it's confusing, sometimes we forget or we can't see what a good value it still is. Now, I'd love to know what you think. Are the add-ons, the extras, the gratuities, is it all getting to be too much? Do you want cruise lines to simplify things a little bit? Please let me know down in the comments below. And should we be doing another video all about gratuities? Should we actually open up that can of worms? please let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now. Happy cruising.